Oh, you're reviewing me. Not me, me, but still me. You know, he's very good looking. Well, he is me, but I'm still better looking. Welcome, fans and collectors. This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review, and today we'll be looking at Marvel Legends Deadpool from the Sasquatch Wave. So, of course, I'm going to get this figure because I love Deadpool. I love him as much as Spider-Man and Green Lantern. And I can't get enough Deadpool anyway. So, enough rambling, let's begin. So, there's Marvel Legends series, Build-A-Figure, Marvel Sasquatch. But this figure doesn't have a Sasquatch piece. It's just in the same wave. Ages 4 and up. And here's... The figure and his accessories in package and the background well normally I don't critique packages but this is a possible exception that the background is very plain it's very boring okay yes you can see Deadpool's face but that's the only redeeming quality it is so just plain it's boring it's gray I've collected Marvel Legends for years and they have really great backgrounds in the packaging, especially from the Man Thing wave. So there's the Deadpool logo, and I really like the design for the Deadpool logo. It's from Hasbro. So here's an artwork of Deadpool giving a thumbs up, like a, and it's the same here. All this stuff that I'm not gonna go into. It made in China, blah blah blah. And there's the Deadpool symbol right there. And here's the bio. Strong. Sassy. Looks amazing in spandex. You could say he's the total package. Short, sweet, and to the point. And there's the figure in a great pose. His name. Marvel Legends series. This is from the Sasquatch wave. This figure doesn't have a Sasquatch piece. It's just in the same wave. And here's the other available figures. I'm really interested in all of them. This Deadpool is just a recolor of the Deadpool I already have. Well, besides this one. I definitely want that Domino. Really want Cable. And I especially want X-23 because how much I love that character. Warnings, Marvel, Hasbro, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's about it for packaging. Now let's get into the figure. And here is Deadpool out of packaging. This particular figure is based on his 90s design and costume, which is his classic outfit. And like every other comic book character, supervillain, superhero, Deadpool is a character with various costume changes and designs. So this is his classic look. And this definitely looks like his 90s look. The pouches, the muscles, so you can tell this is a Rob Liefeld character. So enough rambling, let's just get into the figure. And I really do think this represents the 90s version of Deadpool very well, especially the classic red and black. The black is plain and the red is like a nice bright shade of red, almost like a candy red or a cherry red. And it's on most of his body and on his belt. The black is like on his torso, his arms and it's on his wristbands the bands on his ankles and the one on his neck which is very accurate and there's gray for the straps and there's silver detail there and there the Deadpool symbol looks very nice I really like that looks just like a little tiny Deadpool and the pouches are very nicely sculpted and there's pouches in gray on his leg right there and the sheaths for his swords although one color very nice detail like the little rivets in the center and there's detail there and there now let's take a look at the head sculpt this definitely screams Deadpool the red mask the black and the white eyes they're both squinted, which is accurate. It's not like the 2016 Deadpool, 
that has one eye open, the other kind of squinted, that's like giving a really smug look. And there's like really nice detail for the wrinkles at the middle of the mask, like the bridge of his nose. He doesn't have the tail on his mask, at the back of his mask. Now for articulation, it has a ball joint and a hinge neck, so it can go up and down very nicely, although it doesn't really go all the way up, maybe it's just stiff or it's just how it is. Can go exorcist spin like this. The, the shoulders are on hinges, so it can go up and down, all the way around, and it's on butterfly shoulder joints too, so it can go forward and back. The torso is on a ball joint or a hinge. The elbows are double hinge, so really nice bend. Not all the way, but it's good enough. The wrists are on a hinge swivel, so it can go in and out and spin. The legs are ball jointed and has a thigh swivel. There's double hinged knee, there's a calf swivel, and hinged ankles, and has that awesome ankle pivot. So, really good articulation. You really need it for a loud mouth assassin like Deadpool. But here's the weakest aspect of the figure the accessories. And I did point out. The packaging was very plain and boring, and one of the reasons why is because of the lack of accessories. The 2016 Deadpool, he has a really high accessory count. He has around 10 or 11 because the Juggernaut Deadpool, despite the fact that he lacks a Juggernaut Build-A-Figure piece, was able to make it up for, all, for his accessory count. This figure, however, only has two. You see these swords on his sheaths. That's all he has. For some people, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. For me, it's basically give or take because I would love to see more accessories, but I'm more of a sword guy anyway, and I'm going to display him with swords anyway, like with my 2016 Deadpool. So these are his swords. And from my knowledge, they're based on Ninjato, also known as Shinobi Katana, which are ninja, sh ninja swords with a short straight blade. Unlike a katana that has a long curved blade. And I will bring in the 2016 Deadpool swords for comparison. So here's a comparison between the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool and the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool swords. And you can see the difference is night and day. This is a katana which is more commonly associated with samurai. This is a ninjato which is more commonly associated with ninjas. And it's clearly obvious, this has a curved blade and it's much longer while this one has a short straight blade. And it's very common that a lot of people would associate katanas with ninjas, but that's not always the case. So I'm really glad that they gave us different swords. It's not just a reuse of an existing Deadpool sword like this, which I do appreciate. Now. The Samigawa, or the wrapping of the handle, is, well, if I were to be honest, pretty bland. I'm, I mean, I appreciate where they were going for, but it could have been slightly better with the coloring, especially the diamond pattern for the Samigawa. I wish it would have been painted silver. And if it were gray, just like the sword, it would have been boring and bland. If it were silver, it would stand out and look much better. But hey, what can you do? He does hold them very nicely and securely, like so.
and there's no issue of them falling out. And well, I would have loved to see more accessories, I wouldn't mind displaying my Deadpool like this because I'm a sword guy, I would display him with swords anyway. But Deadpool's Deadpool, he uses any kinds of weapons, guns, knives, swords, he doesn't care as long as it helps him kill people. I mean hell, he would use a, a spear from a caveman and as long as it helps him win in a fight, he doesn't care. And I'm pretty sure he'll find a creative and brutal way to kill you with a caveman spear. But I did notice something with this Deadpool figure that he does come with a pair of trigger fingers and I've used this rifle from the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool and you can actually fit it in his hand see fits like a glove so if you have other characters that have other weapons you can actually give them to Deadpool. It fits just nicely. I'm just glad I have the 2016 Deadpool. So, definitely keep that in mind. And if you're curious, yes, the unmasked Deadpool head from the Juggernaut Deadpool actually fits the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool. I just want to show you how it looks. So this makes me even more glad that I have the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool. So you can have this Deadpool borrow the Juggernaut Wave's Deadpool's accessories. So enough of that, let's get into comparisons. This comparison was bound to happen. So here's the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool compared to his Juggernaut Wave counterpart. And you can tell the differences by just looking at both of them. It is just night and day. Clearly, like the colors, like this Deadpool, his red is more like a dark red or a blood red. While this Deadpool is more like a really bright apple red or candy red. This is more based on his modern design, while this is more based on his classic design. And the molds are clearly different. Even by just looking at them, you can tell their body molds are different. And just for fun, here he is with Boba Fett. And for the most part, they're the same height. And I'm going to do this as a recurring thing for my reviews from now on. I'm going to make a size comparison between some of my favorite fictional mercenaries in different franchises. My final thoughts? To be completely honest, this figure is basically what you see is what you get. This figure is in the Sasquatch wave but has no build a figure piece and you would think oh it, he has a lot of accessories to make that up just like the Juggernaut wave version of Deadpool but no sadly. And it's basically give or take. I mean, I would have loved to see more accessories, but he comes with the swords, and I'm going to display him with the swords anyway, because I'm a sword guy. I mean, the Juggernaut Wave version of Deadpool, he comes with a good amount of accessories, and he even came with a taco. That's not necessary, but that was very thoughtful of Hasbro. But... When it comes to the figure itself, you get the classic design. So if you want to pick this figure up, that's completely up to you. I picked him up, I picked him up because I love Deadpool, just like what I said earlier. I love him as much as Spider-Man and Green Lantern. So this has been it for my review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next. So until then, Chimichanga! Hey Charles, can I be in your videos as this guy from now on? I mean, he's basically just me, but in a different costume. And I really like this look. I mean, this is where I started off. Well, Deadpool? Sure. I mean, why not? 
It's like what you said, it's just you in a different costume. Yeah!